Episode 9, Tragedy's Refrain. Follow me, please. Super Reincarnation sends you on the most expedient path to accomplish your goal, regardless of time or dimension. Oh no! I won't make it at this rate! I've got a super duper dash! W wait, La Misra! You mustn't go to the testing site! If you take the test, you'll... Huh? Who are you people? I'm not quite sure what's going on, but you want us to stop this girl, yes? Then leave it to me! Hey there, little missy! Why don't you come join me for a while? I'll give you some spending money! Your Majesty, it sounds like you're about to commit a crime! No, wait! That's not what I meant! This is bad! We have to stop La Misra! Are you intruders aware of the heinous act you're committing against a student of the Magimage School of Magic? Another me? Well, this is your past, so it makes sense that there'd be two of you. Come, familiars! Repel these intruders! Don't let them lay a single finger on our students! Wait! Allow us to explain! It might be difficult to believe, but I am also Majoline, principal of the Maji Mage School of Magic! Ha! Poppycock, I, Marjoline, witch of the abyss, would never be caught dead in such a shameless outfit. <laughs> uh, but you see, you kind of do end up doing that, so... Two Marjolines? Ugh, I'm so confused. My rotten brain's about to pop! Familiars, I must be on my way to the testing site. I shall leave these miscreants to you. Ah, I don't have time for this. I have to hurry up and stop La Misra. Um, Marjoline, what exactly is going to happen today? If there's anything we can do to help, we'll do it. As defenders of justice. That child, La Misra, used to be one of my students. Though she's a bit of a klutz, she is kind and earnest. The spitting image of the magical girls I admired as a child. She's abysmally bad at summoning spells, you see. And because of that, she was teased by her classmates. However, La Misra worked hard and never gave up. She often stayed after school, practicing her spells. Then, on the day of the test, La Misra cast a remarkable summoning spell. But... What happened? The dragon she summoned ate her. It was a terrible loss of life. Oh my! Even you have tragic endings woven into the tapestry of your tale. Indeed. That's why we have to stop La Misra before that happens! 
Unfortunately, that isn't possible. One cannot change the past. Not even super reincarnation is that powerful. Uh, are you certain of that? I am. I've seen the results with my own eyes. While you can relive your life, you can't alter destiny itself. Even if you wish to undo past tragedies, fate won't change. You'll simply relive those tragedies over and over again. How can that be? What are you talking about, Prism Pup? Destiny is something to take by the hand. For justice, we can't give up. She's right. With our powers combined, la la la, fate can surely be untwined. Even the god of fate would come around with a sufficient bribe. <laughs> right. Surely we ought to be able to change fate if we all work together. All right, let's do this. No matter what, we will save La Misra. That's the spirit. Who the hell would allow their future to be decided by something as dumb as fate? If you don't like your destiny, then tear it to shreds and make your own. Change destiny. Hmm. I too once believed that was possible. However, no matter how hard you try, destiny cannot be altered. That is precisely why. Where do you wish to go? Oh, you intruders are awfully tenacious. Why are you still wandering around our campus? Well, it ends here. Our students have a very important test today. I won't let you go any further. That test is precisely the problem, you thick-headed old hag! Don't forget, that thick-headed old hag is your past self. Never mind that. Just hurry up and cancel the test already. Cancel the test? Don't be preposterous. There is no way I can possibly let all the hard work and effort of our students go to waste. While I wholeheartedly agree with your sentiment, just hurry up and cancel it already! There will be no cancellation. Ugh, to think that I used to be such an inflexible, stubborn old hag. If you proceed with the tests, something terrible is going to happen to La Misra. La Misra? Oh, cut the malarkey already. Now, familiars, this time make sure you remove these intruders. <laughs> Won't even listen to yourself. 
You really are a stubborn old hag. That's right. I'm just a stubborn old hag. Happy now? My apologies, everyone. My past self is just too inflexible. While she definitely does seem to lack flexibility, it seems like it's all due to her love for her students. Yeah, Prismagical's an educator of justice, giving it her all for the sake of the children. No, I'm simply an insecure teacher, one only concerned about appearances. Since I was a child, I've either held back or overextended myself, trying to live up to the expectations of my stern parents. Getting into a top school, graduating as valedictorian, and landing a prestigious career were all part of the plan for me. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to play with friends, find love, and live the life of a normal girl. However, I never stopped hiding my true self. I always pretended to be the perfect me, which got me this far. And that perfect me became the Witch of the Abyss, Principal Majoline of the Magi Mage School of Magic. However, it seemed as though Lemisra could see right through my facade. She told me to be more honest with myself, that I deserved a break from perfection. Hmm. Then. Don't you think she'd be happy to see you the way you are now? Huh? Do you really think so? Well, why not? I mean, the current you's a hell of a lot more lively than the old you, you know? That's not true! Having to stay in this shameless magical girl form has been an utter nightmare! Really? It sure seems like you're having a blast to me. Follow me, please. Last up is Le Misra. Yes, Principal. Le Misra, I know all too well how hard you've been working to overcome your previous failings with summoning spells. I can't go easy when it comes to grading, but don't worry. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll pass. Right. I won't let you down. I'll meet or exceed your expectations, Principal Moduline. What? You summoned a dragon for an elementary summoning exam? And a great dragon at that. Only advanced spells are capable of such a feat. <laughs> what do you think, man? See, I was trying to surprise you and... Uh... Huh? You fool! There's no way a student of your grade could control such a high-level dragon. But I just wanted to live up to your expectations. Don't lose focus. 
The dragon is about to strike! Les Misra! Transform! Magical girl, magnificent Majoline is on the scene! Twirl! Huh? Majoline? Oh, this transformation sequence is so mortifying! But La Misra's life is more important! You... Just who are you? Explanations can wait. I will save La Misra. Destiny be damned! We did it! The dragon has been defeated! Yes! We overcame fate and looked magnificent doing it as defenders of justice! La Misra, are you all right? Are you... Miss Majoline? Uh, well, yes. I became a magical girl and returned here from the future. You've gotten quite a bit younger, but you definitely seem to be Principal Majoline. That means... you're me. And... I'm... I'm you? This can't be true. I must be dreaming or something. Oh. Well, Miss Rath, I'm truly, truly glad that you're all right. Thank you, ma'am. I can't believe you became a magical girl and came back from the future to save me. You're amazing! Perhaps, but I can't exactly serve as a proper role model for the students looking like this. Uh, that's not true! You look really cute, ma'am! Cute? You shouldn't go around teasing a 10,000-year-old woman, you know! <laughs> oh my, Modeline! Look how you're blushing! You're so adorable! Well, Cerberus, see? We tore that stupid fate a new one. No. It's impossible to change fate. Huh? What do you mean? Those who are destined to die cannot escape death, no matter what. The wheels of fate never stray. They simply continue turning without mercy nor hesitation. It's unfortunate, but nobody can defy destiny.